Matthew 18. At the same time came the Talmudim unto Yahushua, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of Yahuwah? And Yahushua called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, and said, Amen, I say unto you, except ye turn back, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of Yahuwah. Whosoever, therefore, shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of Yahuwah. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, receives me. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea. Woe unto the world because of offenses. For it must need be that offenses come, but woe to that man by whom the offense comes. Wherefore, if your hand or your foot offend you, cut them off and cast them from you. It is better for you to enter into life halt or maimed, rather than having two hands or two feet to become cast into everlasting fire. And if your eye offend you, pluck it out and cast it from you. It is better for you to enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes, and be cast into the fire of Gehenna. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you, that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. For the son of Adam is come to save that which was lost. How think ye? If a man have a hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray, does he not leave the ninety and nine, and go into the mountains, and seek that which is gone astray? And if so be that he find it, Amen, I say unto you, he rejoices more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Moreover, if your brethren shall have trespass against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he hear you, you have gained your brother. But if he will not hear you, then take with you one or two more, that in the mouths of two or three witnesses every word may be established. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it to the called out assembly. But if he neglect to hear the called out assembly, let him be unto you as a heathen man and a publican. Amen. I say unto you, that whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Then came Kepha to him and said, Adonai, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Till seven times? Yahushua said unto him, I say not unto you until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Therefore is the kingdom of Yahuwah likened unto a certain king, 
which would take account of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him, which owed him ten thousand talents. But for as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold, and his woman and children, and all that he had, and payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay you all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion, and loosed him, and forgave him as the debt. But the same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him a hundred pence. And he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that you owe me. His fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay you all. He would not, but went and cast him into prison till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry, and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O oh, you wicked servant! I forgave you all that debt because you desired me. Should not you also have had compassion on your fellow servant, even as I had pity on you? And his Lord was wroth and delivered him to the tormentors till he should pay all that was due unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not every one his brother their transgressions.